Hi, welcome to Organic Chemistry. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to talk about even more organic functional groups. Specifically, we're going to look at ethers, aldehydes, ketones, organic acids, and esters. Let's start by talking about ethers. Ethers are a series of compounds in which two carbon chains with a YL ending are joined together by an oxygen atom bonded between two carbon atoms. That's how you're going to recognize these. Branches are named in alphabetical order, typically. The general formula is written ROR prime to show the oxygen bridge between the two carbon atoms. So this image right here is taken from your region's reference table. So it states the organic functional group, which is ether. How we represent it is dash O dash, the first hydrocarbon group, and then the second hydrocarbon group, and then an example, methyl ethyl ether, represented in a condensed structural formula. Let's look at two examples. The first one is dimethyl ether. So that means we're going to have two methyl branches connected together by an oxygen. So I'm going to write carbon dash oxygen dash carbon and then I'm going to put the hydrogens all the way around the two carbons. So the condensed structural formula of this would be CH3OCH3 dimethyl ether. Let's look at another example ethyl propyl ether. So I'm going to have an ethyl branch which we know is two carbons one two and then linked by an oxygen to a propyl group, which we know is three carbons, meth, eth, prop. Then I'm going to put bonds and hydrogens around all my carbons. To write the condensed structural formula for this, I'm going to start on the left and go to the right. So it will be CH3CH2O, CH2, CH2, CH3. And that condensed structural formula represents ethyl propyl ether. Now let's talk about aldehydes. When an oxygen atom is attached to a carbon chain by a double covalent bond, it is called a carbonyl group and represented as C double bonded O. Aldehydes are organic compounds in which the carbonyl group, this C double bonded O, is always found on an end carbon. Aldehydes are named by substituting AL in place of the final E of the corresponding alkane name. In a condensed structural formula, the aldehyde ending is CHO versus an alcohol ending, which is COH. Let's do two examples of aldehydes. So this is propanal. So prop meaning three carbons, one, two, three, single bonds between the carbons, which we have right here, and then that AL ending means that that C double bonded O will always be on an end carbon. You have an aldehyde. So C double bonded O, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent the remaining bonds and hydrogens around the rest of the carbons. So we know that we're going to have one bond and one hydrogen right here. That takes care of the four bonds for that end carbon. Now I'm going to go and fill in the rest. To represent the condensed structural formula for this, we would write CH3CH2, and then finally CHO. And remember, that's really, really important because that CHO is going to indicate an aldehyde. Let's do another example, butanel. But means that we're going to have four carbons, one, two, three, four, single bonds between all the carbons for that AN, and then that AL tells us we're going to have a double bonded oxygen always on an end carbon. We need one more hydrogen right here, and then I'm going to fill in the remaining bonds and hydrogens on the carbons. When I read the condensed structural formula for this, it's going to be CH3, CH2, CH2, C. H O again indicating that you have to write it as C H O 
to indicate the presence of the aldehyde, the carbonyl group. Now let's talk about ketones. A ketone is formed when the carbonyl group, that C double bonded O, is found on an interior carbon atom that is attached to two other carbon atoms. Ketones are named by replacing the final E for the corresponding alkane name with O-N-E. Let's look at an example. Propanone, so prop, three carbons. One, two, three. And we have to have three carbons here because we need that C double bonded O to be on an interior carbon. One carbon, that's gonna be an aldehyde. Two carbons, still gonna always have an N carbon, also an aldehyde. You must have three carbons for a ketone. So here's my interior carbon surrounded by two other carbons. That interior carbon now has four bonds. So what I'm going to do is put the bonds and hydrogens for the remaining carbons. Now I'm going to write the condensed structural formula. So CH3COCH3. And that's the condensed structural formula for propanone. Let's do another one. 2-butanone. Bute means four. One, two, three, four. AN right here tells me it's all single bonds between the carbons. And then it's 2-butanone. And again, we really don't need the two, but I put it in there anyways. So it doesn't matter where you put it as long as it's on an interior carbon. So I'm gonna put it right here. So that would make that carbon number two. That carbon has all four bonds, so I'm going to put in the rest of the bonds and the hydrogens for the remaining carbons. Now I'm going to write the condensed structural formula for 2-butanone, so CH3COCH2CH3. And that is the condensed structural formula for 2-butanone. Now let's talk about organic acids. Organic acids are a homologous series of organic compounds whose functional group is the carboxyl group, COOH, more fondly known as the Ku group, Ku, Ku, like a dove. Organic acids derive their names from the corresponding hydrocarbons by replacing the E with oic acid. Although most organic compounds are non-electrolytes, meaning they're not gonna conduct electricity when dissolved in water, Organic acids are generally weak electrolytes due to the presence of the oxygen atoms in the carboxyl group. And when we get to the acid-base units, we'll talk about this more. Let's do two examples, ethanoic acid and propanoic acid. Ethanoic acid, so that's eth, meaning two carbons, one, two. That an right here indicates a single bond between the two carbons. And then that oic acid means on an end carbon, we're gonna have C double bonded O, OH. That is our carboxyl group. So now I need to go to my other carbon and put the bonds in and put the hydrogens in. And now I have ethanoic acid. So if I was to do the condensed structural formula, this one might actually look familiar to you. CH3COO. H, ethanoic acid. Let's do propanoic acid. So prop, meaning three carbons, one, two, three, AN, single bonds between the carbons, oic acid, that's an organic acid. So on an end carbon, C, double bond O, OH, fill in the remaining carbons with their bonds and with the hydrogens. When I write the condensed structural formula for this, it's going to be CH3CH2COOH. And that's the condensed structural formula for propanoic acid. Finally, esters. Esters are organic compounds whose type formula is R C double bonded O O R prime, meaning that we have one hydrocarbon group to start with and one hydrocarbon group to end with. You do not need to know how to name esters, that doesn't come up very often, only recognize them. But I am going to give two examples where I do have the appropriate names. So the first one I'm going to look at is methyl ethanoate. So I'm going to start with the eth, meth, eth. 
Now, off of that carbon, because it's two carbons, I'm going to put C double bond O, and then an O, and then I'm going to attach the methyl group to it, so C. So I'm gonna put hydrogens around all the carbons where we still need four bonds. So that carbon has four bonds. This interior carbon has four bonds. And then I'm going to put bonds and hydrogens around this carbon. So the ethanol part of it is right here. And then the methyl group is right here. So if I did the condensed structural formula for this, it'd be CH3COOCH3. And the way that you recognize that this is an ester is you're looking for this COO in the middle of the organic compound. Let's do another example, methyl butanote. So now we have bute, which we know is four carbons. One, two, three, four. Off this fourth carbon, I'm going to put a double bonded oxygen and then another oxygen and then a methyl group right here. And then I'm going to go back and put in bonds and hydrogens for my remaining carbons that need four bonds. And then I'm going to write the condensed structural formula for this. CH3, CH2, CH2, COO, CH3. And again, the way that I recognize that this is an ester and what you really need to focus on is noticing that COO in the middle of the compound. So what did you learn? We talked about a bunch of different functional groups here. We talked about ethers, aldehydes, ketones, organic acids, and finally, esters. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.